it's Liz, the Frugal Libertarian, and I wanted to talk a little bit about what happened this morning, um, which was a liberal, socialist-leaning Bernie Sanders supporter showed up at a baseball field and opened fire on Republican members of Congress. Rand Paul uh, did sort of an interview with the news as it was unfolding as they were there and kind of described what happened and then he later said that if it wasn't for the Capitol Police being there because the majority whip was there and he was the one that was hurt pretty badly um, this if the police hadn't been there then this would have been a massacre they all would have been uh, killed this guy would kill them all it's first of all a horrifying act of violence again being perpetrated by the liberal left. It seems the most violent of the liberal left are coming from the socialist communist side and they seem to be the people who supported Bernie Sanders in the primary. They are the brown shirts. They think violence is acceptable as long as it's it's advantageous to them politically, then it's, it, it's acceptable. And this is so unbelievably disgusting and so unbelievably wrong. Violence for political reasons should not be happening in this country. It should not be. And it is. And, it, and it's a weekly thing now that... And it's, it's very one-sided. There's a couple of things about this morning's shooting that are disturbing to me. One is that the liberal left are already using it as leverage for more gun control. These members of Congress, who are, of course, law-abiding people, were unarmed. So basically, your idea of gun control was to unarm the victims. In this case, it cannot be any clearer. You unarm the victim, and you in made it easier for the perpetrator to have more violent action. And that's why Rand Paul said if it wasn't for the majority whip being there and bringing with him the Capitol Police, they would have been sitting ducks. It would have been a massacre. There would have been no way to stop this guy. The idea of using this to push for more gun control is sickening. Absolutely sickening. And it seems like every time a tragedy happens, it's getting spun for political agendas, and that's horrifying. Another thing I find just awful right now is that in addition to using this to push an anti-gun agenda, which again wouldn't have been helpful, it's also being called, oh well, you know, we shouldn't throw parties into this, we shouldn't really assign blame to one specific political group because this is clearly someone who's just a random lunatic who just happens to be mentally ill. No. This is somebody committing a crime for a political reason. If you remove the political reason behind their crime, then they, oh yeah, then they're just a lone lunatic, but you're deleting the real reason for the crime. You know, if, it, if he did not align himself with the extreme liberal left and with the socialist slash communist side of the liberal left, this wouldn't have happened. So you cannot remove the politics from a political violent act. You can't. And doing so is disingenuous. It's a way of absolving yourself of any responsibility if you support the things this man supported, if you sided with everything politically this man sided with. And then the last thing that's really bothering me about this is the insistence that the victims are to blame. I've seen this from quite a few liberals who have said the reason this happened was the Republican policies that have been passed and the Trump administration and the antagonism of the right against the left. This wouldn't have happened. Oh yes, I am sure the Republican members of Congress says skirts were too short, so they had it coming. Of course, when you urge them to say, well, what exactly did, what policy has the Congress passed 
that was Republican driven that's actually passed and gone to the president to sign they don't have an answer they all had it coming because the um, they clearly are all Russian agents and this man was just a true patriot who really cared about fairness and and equality under the law who was a peaceful loving man who was driven to this by their behavior clearly why is it always victim blaming politically motivated violence always comes with victim blaming every single time people injured by antifa they did it to themselves they shouldn't have been there they shouldn't have had that rally if they hadn't been there they wouldn't have gotten hurt it's never the person who's perpetuating the violence and the people that support them are the, in the wrong it's always the victim who's in the wrong <laughs> you know if they didn't support free speech if they didn't weren't there at that time if they weren't colluding with russia right now this wouldn't have happened so it's really their fault if you've heard any other excuses or rationale or just extreme abuse of the situation by politicians and news people for their own political agendas please leave that information and if possible any links down below in the comments because I would like to look into it further these were just the three that I have seen thrown out at me so far today but I am truly and completely disgusted the violence is not acceptable it is not acceptable it, I don't care why you're doing it the only time violence can be in any way justified is when it's reactionary for example the Capitol Police firing back at this guy oh completely justified completely justified to defend your person your property and to defend others whether they're your family members friends or random strangers who are going to be hurt that is the only time when violence is acceptable I don't care who you are I don't care what you believe I don't care what kind of holy agenda you think you're pushing if you support violence for political reasons or for cultural reasons you're in the wrong if you agree give me a thumbs up like I said let, let me know in the comments anything else you're hearing going on about this because it just happened so I'm just telling you what I've heard thus far subscribe if you have not already done so and I will talk to you soon with more videos